Hey y'all, how are y'all doing today? Peace on earth and love and light to you. I am Gabrielle Ether. Welcome to my channel. So this is, if you join the Illuminati or if the Illuminati wanted you, what would be their agenda with you? Okay, <laughs> so I decided to do this because I feel like, um, I feel like if you knew the Illuminati's agenda with you, that will actually let you know how special you are because the Illuminati don't ever want um, people who are not special. They don't want people who are just quick to sell their souls. They actually want the ones that are, uh, that, that it will take some effort to get. <coughs> Excuse me. They will actually want the ones that are um, chosen and, you know, something more like a prize, you know, or um, or the most talented. You know, sometimes we wonder why someone as beautiful as Beyonce or as talented as Beyonce, um, as, as uh, I would say, okay, everybody's agenda is different. I say, like, um, I was about to say as beautiful as Cardi B. I think Cardi B is beautiful. A lot of people... You know, she be having like a bad reputation when it comes to that sometimes without her makeup on. But I think she's, I've always thought she was cute. But like, um, look, if it ain't one thing or another, I'm trying to keep everything else quiet around here. And I'm by the door and people outside are being loud. <laughs> so, yeah, I was just going to go ahead after that. But I think I need to explain this. Um, I want to tell you guys a story. If you haven't watched the video where I went to hell, go watch that. Okay. So, y'all, what's in my background, my daughter picked out all of this stuff to put out here. So, I think it's cute, though. And I didn't even want her to get that because I'm like, we're not religious, but she wanted that so bad. But I was like, okay, I like the message. So, she picked out all this stuff to go here. And, like, that's her gnome, actually. She loves that gnome. It goes on her little space. Y'all, I want to tell y'all about my, um, the hell video. The only thing that I want to say, okay, go to the timestamps, okay? The only thing that I want to say is, um, when I was, um, had the little visa to hell, at first it was like, they didn't notice me or, you know, and, um, everybody around didn't notice me. And then it was one point of time where I started getting pushed toward hell's door. So go watch the video. If you want to know how all that happened, it was more slow. Like I was like outside looking in, like I was there just to receive a message. That's what I felt. And then like, I started getting pushed towards hell's door and they were acting like it was just another day at work. Like it was just bad people in hell. Like, and then it seems like to me, those people who are in hell were like despicably bad. They didn't even seem like they were just like people, everyday people that me you just don't like. They seemed like they was like really cruel. But anyways, um, um that that was the energy that was there. And I don't, I need to stop getting out of like what it seemed like and stuff like that. That's what I know. I know what I know. Okay. But anyways, so uh, then when once they noticed me. They act like they was about to have a field day. They was like, oh, yeah, it's you that we want. It's you that we want. And they started looking at me, and they got so happy. And they were like saying, yeah, you. And they started pointing at me. And they was like, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we want you. And then so then um, immediately I said, Yahweh, get me out of here. Within like a split second, I was out of there, and I woke up. But um, the thing was, I started to see, and that was the purpose of that video also when I was talking about that video, y'all. Um, if you want to see it, let me know. I'll link it below. I always forget, so y'all got to remind me. But Or just go find it. Um, it became apparent to me that evil only wants, like, the the ones who are really chosen. They don't care nothing about, you know, people be wondering, why are these people just selling their souls and stuff like that? They really don't care anything about uh, the people who are just easy to get. They really want the ones who are chosen. They want someone who would be, like, um... Who would be like a token for them, uh, you know, like, uh, just like think about you, or at least in my life, whenever I'm doing anything like a game or something, like, I never want to take the easy way out. Like, I always want something that I can say, Oh, yeah, if I get it, then I got it fair and square, you know, I got it like with effort. And so, you know, it's like you can't brag on something that you got easy, right? So that's probably why a lot of you guys are going through things in your life because you're who the enemy wants. If you believe in like an enemy or ultimate enemy or just low vibrational beings here just to take you out, that's what this video is about. And I figured if I do this, then it will, um, <laughs> if you knew what your agenda would be, like there's an agenda with everything, you know. 
that the Illuminati does. And I feel like if you know what your agenda is, then you'll know how um, special you are and it will encourage you to keep on going, okay? So, um, yeah. So, are y'all ready? I know y'all were already ready. Y'all were waiting on me. Let me tell y'all what these are. We have an amethyst. We have a smoky quartz. We have a golden thing, golden halo quartz. This is my pendulum. This is a lapis lazuli that has broke twice. But yeah, it's still my pendulum. Are y'all ready? Let's go. So I was led to go to this lapis lazuli first. Those of you guys who were drawn to the lapis lazuli. Here are your cards. I still have a review that I haven't put up about these cards yet. You have water. We have the moon. I like those cards that are there. We have clear the path. We have mentors and role models. Okay, I'm seeing the agenda. Call on your angels. <laughs> ah, okay, uh, sixth ray of devotion. Why is this card coming out so much in my life right now? I didn't pick this deck. Um, I didn't pick no day. Master healing. Yeah, these cards are coming out. Okay, y'all. I'm just gonna tell y'all. Okay, what these cards generally mean. If I'm gonna tell you guys the the Illuminati's agenda, then I would tell you like your calling, I guess. And then it will. I guess this will have to be the opposite. Okay. It seems like to me they definitely want to take you to be the one who would take people off path they want you to be one of those fake woke people okay i'm looking at this in this negative position this um upside down position they want you to be one of those fake woke people they want you to be um like a um i know people don't like when i say that but uh what's saying what the guy's name is because i think he's fake and woke uh um oh my gosh what's that guy that everybody liked when he died um <laughs> I cannot think of that rapper's name right now. The light-skinned guy with the braids or whatever. Nipsey Hussle, him. They want you to be that. They want you to be calling your angels. They want you to actually be very demonic. They want you to start using your powers for bad. They want you to start calling on dark angels, okay? They don't want you to... um. They don't want you, they, they don't even want you to see your power. They want you to question your power, okay? They want you to even question your ancestors. They want you to question the angels that are around you. They want you to start calling on some of them demons that people do, these dark beings that some people do, because they don't understand light. They don't understand love. They think light, love and light is weak. They want you to be one of those people. They people who don't really understand love, and they don't even they don't really understand light. They don't really know the power of of real angels, like of archangels, and they try to steer people in the wrong way just because they see light and love, and they think of it as something weak. You know, they want you to start thinking like that. They want you to question all things spiritual around you, especially the things that you have already seen. They want you to start questioning that. And once you start questioning that, then they can take your mind. A lot of you guys probably get attacked in your mind. I get attacked in my mind a lot. I don't know if you guys have spiritual warfare, but um, I do. And a lot of times when I have spiritual warfare, it's in my head. So when you have spiritual warfare, you know it's just... Um, and it's just uh something that's just low. It's not your health or anything. When you just know, because sometimes, you know, I get attacked in my body and I'm like, okay, this health. Sometimes I get attacked in my body and I'm like, okay, this is this is a demon. Or, you know, this is like, uh you know, um my spiritual team trying to show me something. You know, Yahweh trying to show me something or whatever. So um that's what I think. And But sometimes you know that, like, no, this is evil trying to get on me. Look at the area that it attacks you in. I get attacked in my head a lot. So that means... Is it is it's trying to take over your thoughts, your mind, or you you must be uh probably an analytical person, someone who's really smart. So um they don't want you to share your knowledge. If you get attacked in your head a lot, they don't want you to share your knowledge. That means they're trying to get you confused. If they're trying to get you confused, it's because you know something, okay? You know something that a lot of people don't know. Um and um and they want you to start calling on, like I said, um yeah, they might attack like your mind, like your third eye, your crown chakra or something like that. You might start seeing that that's off and 
it's def if that's off then that's why they definitely want you to question your ancestors and your angels this is what i'm uh, specifically saying they want you to start questioning them they want you to know that this is stuff out is not real even though some of you guys have seen this stuff with your own eyes you you know the way your angels work and you know the way your ancestors work they still try to throw things up in there and don't want you to do it and i think some of you guys are magical beings this is what i'm getting some of you guys have seen so much of dark magic around you that you don't like touching touching magic or either you kind of so it's something about when you touch magic or when you do magical things that don't work this is because you're so powerful and i know what i'm getting so don't confuse it okay i know what i'm getting it's because you're so powerful you were born with this natural power that that the enemy wants okay if you you sold your soul tomorrow that's what the illuminati will want and that's what the illuminati is trying to get you to do use that power your natural power for bad imagine you being as strong as you as you are oh baby you will totally change the world and it's some of those people who are power hungry or who are insecure about themselves they will do that okay so i'm gonna give y'all a warning if you're this will this this could definitely be someone who's insecure about themselves and don't know who they are okay because they would try to come after the people who want who want more power than money who want more praise than money i tell you guys all the time make sure you take care of your insecurities before you get to a certain level because the way that illuminati attacks a lot of people is to buy their insecurities because they try to make them seem like trying to make you seem like oh okay you have to um you you have to to show people that you're not the way they think who cares like why this is what i tell people i used to be one of those people why are you trying to prove yourself to a bunch of demons you're trying to prove yourself to people who don't even know if they're going if they're going right or left and you're trying to prove yourself to these people who cares what these people think who cares that these people feel like you can't you can't do nothing of course they feel like you can't do nothing they don't even have the right mind they don't even have a mind good enough to even comprehend anything good they vibrate so low they don't even know what good vibrational people look like so of course they saying you can't do anything because they don't even have the mind to know what it looks like what 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 it does look like when they see special people they don't know what it looks like when people um have the um when there when there are special people they don't know what special people look like they don't know what magical people look like they don't know what we do those who vibrate high they don't know what we do they can't comprehend so need of you no need of you trying to prove yourself okay like i said they want you to, to take people off the wrong path and what they want you to do is be one of those fake woke woke people and they also want you to use your magic for bad okay you're supposed to be using your magic if you're not using your magic you're supposed to be using your magic okay so um i know this 33 is a number of, of um of ascended masters listen to your ascended masters at this time call on them if you haven't been calling on them listen to them they have a lot to tell you guys they're here to 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 uh, put you guys in the right way and they're here to give you guys um a lot of wisdom right now right now spirit is trying to teach you how to be wise some of you guys are like why can't i do this or why can't i do that it's because they're trying to slow you down they're trying to teach you how to be wise okay and that's 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 that's, that's it's not anything personal it's not anything against what you believe in because some of you guys feel like that i know i felt like that why am i getting blocked from this why am i getting blocked for that like you know it don't make no sense but they're just trying to teach you how to be wise okay because we're living in this world with evil people you got to know how to uh you got to know evil people's devices okay confirmation i looked down it was 1333 so if i don't have to do nothing to this video it'll be 1333 when you see it okay so um six ray of devotion okay when i see this card it's always saying that this is you're at the point of your life where you are um where um okay it's about love <laughs> it's about you love it's about you spreading love it's about um love awareness okay so this is going to be a little separate message some of you guys uh have been kind of scarred here lately or in the past 
real quick, spirit is telling you to work on your heart chakra because you cannot help people if you cannot help yourself, okay? One way the Illuminati is going to get you is gonna they're going to attack your heart because you are this caring person and you are supposed to be this real work, woke people telling people what's real out there, not what's fake. Don't let them get you like they did Kanye West, okay? Kanye West, who was a real woke person, and then, you know, they end up getting him because he shook hands with the devil. Don't ever shake hands with the devil. Don't even do it at all. Okay, so when I look at, at this card, I always look at this card similar to what I was saying with this card. Um, I don't know what it says in the book, but when I see this card, I always see like the phases of the moon and spirit encouraging you to do more work um, when it comes to the moon. Because something about the moon is natural who you are. Like my north node is in cancer and I know cancers really resonate with the moon. And so um, it's something about the moon cycle you need to work more with. Okay, so if you was in the Illuminati and you were naturally drawn to the moon, then they would definitely turn you into like a werewolf or something. Where did that come from? <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> they will want you to actually be bad. They will want you to actually use the use like <laughs> that for bad. I know where that come from because my daughter watched that watch zombies all the time. <laughs> They will actually want you to use this for bad. This right here, I, I heard this immediately. This is only saying that some of you guys are water signs. I have water in your chart. I was just saying that. Cancers. Yeah. So that would be the agenda of the Illuminati. Wow. So you guys are extremely powerful people. Don't let them take that away from you. And don't don't start walking with the enemy just because um just because your spiritual team, positive spiritual team takes longer, okay? Okay, all right, y'all. That's all, y'all. Let me know how well this resonated with you. Like, I really want to know this. Y'all, I been want to know. Like, y'all don't be talking to me. And if you don't want to, hey, it's okay. Because a lot of you guys are probably like me. Because I don't come in on a lot of stuff either. Unless it really makes me mad. But uh, but I, the thing is, like I always say, let me know if it resonates with you. But I, I want to know, like, if y'all are really going through this stuff. Like, I want to know. <laughs> So, yeah, and then I try to talk back to y'all, and that's all, y'all. Continue to come and grow with me and subscribe so we can become a part of each other's tribe. Bye. Okay, it was getting dark. I had to turn on some light. So, for those of you guys who were drawn to this golden healer quartz, let's see what your cards are. The hummingbird. The beloved, the ancient ones. Okay, hold on. Call on your healer, guys. Cosmic heart, cosmic Christ. Wow, I was getting this, and then when I saw that, uh. What will your agenda be? This will be one that will be very evil. Okay. I remember one time my aunt told me. This was a long time ago. And I don't even know where this thought was coming from. So it has to be coming from spirit. My aunt told me that some people calling is so great on their life. They better not go over to the evil side. Because if they do, they'll never come out of it. And they'll probably die in it. Like they'll actually uh be just horrible people and i see some of you guys like um it's just the fact that you know it's a quote in the bible that goes touch not my anointed ones and do my prophets no harm okay so if you're just that anointed and you're you're if you're a seer especially like, you better not go over to that side. So, like, I was telling the other groups, whenever I get these cards out here, I guess I have to read them, like, in the opposite way now. Like, I can't really say. Like, I am telling you guys what your calling is. But I am telling you the Illuminati's agenda. So, it would be, it would be like, the opposite. I always look at this card as seeing, like, the real spirit in someone, seeing who they really are. But, but for me, I can't help but to think of it in an evil way unless spirit gives it to me in another way. Just because when I see the beloved, I automatically think of beloved the movie where you know um she was a demon and you know she wasn't looked at as a demon at first but she was and when i look when i read the book when i read what this card means um in the book 
it says that um it says that you're seeing things for you you're you're really seeing the the real the true spirit of people okay so um so and I feel like when you're seeing people for who they really are, you can see them for who they really are in a good way or in a bad way. But I just lean more towards evil simply because it just reminds me of that movie. Um, so I just feel like um, everything in you, like the ancient ones... Okay, you guys, I barely knew what I was saying. I had to pause it to get to, um, I had to pause it to get some more clarity because I really didn't want to, um, put out a message in, and it was just, it was what I was hearing. Sometimes spirit surprise you. Like when I'm giving messages to different people, um, sometimes it's surprising because of the message that's coming out and spirit have to tell you the best way they can. Sometimes the cards are not clear. So I just have to hear what I can hear because I was definitely listening, looking at this like, okay, and that it might not even be an agenda with you. This is just more so of a warning, like to just don't sell out because there's no coming back. I feel like some of you guys just might feel like, like you, uh, it might be a little arrogance there to feel like, well, I'm always protected, I'm always covered. But no, it's like, but when you know better, you do better. And this card just makes me feel like, um, I'm just getting like, I don't know, it just looks, it, I feel arrogance around this one. And I usually interpret it so positive, I just it's it's everywhere when i'm looking at it this is all i'm seeing y'all so um sometimes we can't just feel like we're always covered or or good things are always going to come to us no not when you know but when you know better you do better you know we can't i guess because i'm looking at, at this mask which i love i love the attire but you know sometimes it's time for us to stop unmasked Time for us to start ma stop <laughs> masking things and take those masks off and be who we truly are. Be the one that your ancestors really want you to be. And then, like, I pulled this card. Even though this wasn't the first card that came out with this, these cards came out also. When I was clarifying both of these cards, these cards came out. So I said it's more of a warning to get grounded because I guess some of you guys might be going through some things now. And I know some of you guys are like, um, Gabrielle, I'm not, I'm not about to sell my soul to the devil, okay? <laughs> so, um, so that's not. You know what I'm really saying? Yeah, for some of you guys who are, you really feel like you've been kind of like at that edge. But from what I'm really saying is that I guess you guys have been going through something. And like Spirit is really saying, but you're one of those people. Like if you're not that, like really that's why you're here for light. Spirit's reminding you to cloak yourself in light and to get grounded. Because it looks like there might be a lot of things going on in your head. Anytime spirit has to remind you to get grounded, it's just because a lot of things are going on. It doesn't even mean that you're being um, positive or negative. <laughs> it just wants you to become equal, you know, to become balanced. I mean, yeah. So, um, and then when I, this card, I know this card is all about being, getting still and listen to spirit when spirit has to, when spirit is trying to tell you which direction to go when you're in your spiritual journey. So, um, but as I was reading it, I was hearing that a lot of you guys need to, and this goes along with what I was about to say with this instant feedback, need to just get still in a quiet place and really talk to your ancestors more, your spiritual team more, but I would say more so of your ancestors, okay? Get to know them because they're going to really help you on your journey and tell you where you need to go, okay? So, like, I was looking at this card, Cosmic Card, Cosmic Christ, a card that's really is about... The card that I, I personally, I personally don't like some of the, 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 I just don't like some of the stuff on the card. But anyways, um, it has more so to do with the words than the picture. I would say that before somebody starts thinking all crazy or whatever. But with that being said, I know what this card is about and it's all about, it's all about love 
and being like your true authentic self and being one that can spread love all around to others and being Christ-like, like they would say, being like the ascended master, Yeshua is what I would call him, not Jesus or Christ, being like the ascended master, Yeshua, and spreading like to people. And if you sold out, that just would not happen. But the thing is, I don't even know if you'll get to that level. I think something will happen and you'll just, uh, you'll probably get sick or something. That's why the first thing I picked up when I saw that. And then when I was trying to clarify, and then this cloak yourself in light came out and get grinded card when I was trying to clarify that one. And um, I was like, okay, yeah. So basically, Spirit is saying, like, um, this is somebody who just cannot go over to the dark side. Because if you do, it's not like it's going to even work. Spirit is not going to allow it to happen. And you'll probably get sick or something, you know, bad happened to you. So with that being said, you guys know what whose story I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about those guys who were in that group. Um, and I don't know why they um but who are in that group, uh, is it, no, no, not uh, H-Town, H-Town, hey, and I'm in H-Town right now, okay, <laughs> but, um, H-Town, I've always thought, just by looking at those guys, and they were so talented, and, you know, so gifted, and when you're trying to sacrifice your brother, thinking that you're going to come up and then you don't come up, that happens all the time to celebrities. Sometimes people feel like, oh, well, nothing is good go, good going for me, you know, going good for me. I might as well just start going over to the dark side and see what they have to do with me. And then the dark side turn you over because you know why? Because the dark side has a boss too, okay? And that is Yahweh. That is the creator. If you don't believe in that, then hey, it's not much I can say. <laughs> That's what I believe. And at the end of the day, if Yahweh says, no, this person is, is not fixing to get no easy come up, this person is not fixing to come up, you think you just fixing to sell out? and sell your soul and we fixing to let you come up no we're not gonna even let you come up because you knew better and the thing is when you know better you have to do better and a lot of you guys just know better and you think you go come up and you don't like you know um i like i've told people before in some of my illuminati videos these people think that they're, that they're going to come up, and then they still don't. There's a lot of people that have sold out, that has killed their brothers and killed their mothers and did all kinds of crazy stuff, and it don't get them nowhere. It don't get them nowhere. Why? Because sometimes the universe don't accept them. Like, sometimes the world don't accept them. Oh, I was talking about Cardi B earlier. And I was saying, like, you know, I don't feel like she's talented. I don't, I didn't even get a chance to say that. I think she's pretty, but I don't think she's talented. But you have people that the world accepts, and the world accepted her. I remember when I used to like her in her personality. But, you know, I, I don't know how far she's go they're going to continue to take her because she don't have enough talent to take her for a real long time. But anyways, um, sometimes, um, talented or not, Sometimes you wonder why they wonder or people that have sold out, those people that we know have sold out and then they still don't go anywhere. Well, why they don't go anywhere is because sometimes spirit was like, uh, no, um, we're not even going to allow that to happen. And sometimes, and then those people who feel like, well, why does bad things have to happen? Why does some people, why does Yahweh allow the agenda to be taken out to, to, to be, why does Yahweh allow the agenda to happen anyways and for people to actually sell out? Well, for one, spirit is not going to stop everything. The universe cannot stop everything. Can't if you if if that happens, there will be a certain imbalance in the universe, okay? And then there are some types of evil that if you see it, you'll know not to do it. Or when you see the evil, you'll know um what was the best thing to do for you okay that's that's what that's that's one way that i look at stuff if it wasn't for evil then i wouldn't know what not to do okay and it seems like to me there's not really a, an agenda for you the only thing that there is for you is a warning and some of you guys are like okay that's good because i'm not gonna do that no way anyway that's the only thing spirit is like, you know, there's not an agenda for you. There's just a warning. If you do it, you're not going to get what you want anyways. You're just going to get, you know, hardship, you know, a sickness or something like that. You know, nothing's just going to work for you because you, you are, you are specifically chosen for good. You are specifically chosen for light. 
ain't no darkness when it comes to you. That's why when you walk in a room and a lot of people just tell you that you're just light, you're light regardless. That's why, that's why people tell you, you just have good energy. That's why people can look at your pictures and just say, this person has good energy. That's why, because you're light and you're not meant for darkness. So I just think a lot of you guys are like, well, yeah, I know that. <laughs> it, like, like, leave it to me not to even have an agenda for darkness, huh? Because everybody do always tell me that I'm light, okay? So, I probably didn't have to tell you guys that. But like I said, it can kind of encourage you. When you know the Luminize agenda or what, you know, um, Spirit has for you, it can kind of encourage you to stay on the right path, you know, or to just... Uh, um, not even stay on the right path, but like maybe take it a step up because you guys probably have no problem with going on the right path. I mean, path, especially just looking at how, um, how much, how much of light that you are filled with in a ways you probably have no problem with that in a ways. So if anything, this could be just, um, something to get you to just say, oh, okay, yeah, I am, I am that one. I am that chosen one. I am special like that. So if anything, you can like amp it up, you know, amp up what you were already doing. So yeah, y'all, now I really want to know if y'all resonate with this reading and I know people don't, I feel like your vibe attract your tribe and I don't comment that much on pe people's stuff either unless I'm like annoyed or I feel like I'm doing my light work or whatever. But so I already know people are not going to comment that much, but I really be want to know, I guess it probably comes from like a nosy standpoint if like if it's resonating or if you guys are really going through these things like <laughs> so leave a comment below if you like to y'all so yeah uh continue to come and grow with me and subscribe so we can become a part of each other's tribe bye okay y'all those of you guys who are drawn to the smoky quartz right here let me see what is illuminati's agenda for you oh we have eagle have I pulled that card? I see it, but I don't know if I pulled it yet. Beauty way. Oh, I know what that's saying. See the solution. Oh, I oh, I get some of the downtime. Okay, um, past life activation. Messages and numbers. Oh, they want you to just put out all types of lies. You know, kind of similar to the first one. They definitely want you to put out all types of lies. You know what, what your agenda would be? You know, the first group I was like, they want you to be like a fake woke person because you have so much knowledge. Okay, they want you to be a fake seer. Okay, they want you to be a fake seer. Why can I almost cry right now? I don't even think I was drawn to this one. Was I drawn to this one? Was I drawn to this one? I think I was. <laughs> Y'all, I tell my friend all the time, every time I do readings, I never remember the one that I was drawn to. So, <laughs> y'all, my, my reaction be for real. And that's probably why I wanted to cry. This is the saddest thing in the world to me. They want you to be a fake seer. What I mean, even when I saw this, this, and then this, I automatically thought about that. I automatically thought, okay, what those eagles are known for? Their seeing abilities and to be able to see far out, you know? I automatically thought about something ugly, the opposite of that, you know, um, seeing something they, you know, where you're, you're used to seeing the beauty and everything. Cause when you look at, when I look up the, the definition for this car, it's a four, two, oh my gosh. Um, in the book, it's actually talking about seeing the beauty and everything. Okay, I had to get the bug out the way. Anyways, um, and they don't want you to do that. They don't want you to see anything good. They want you to be this be this fake seer. They want to trick you and be this fake seer downtime. But I'm here turning everything around, turn around exactly who you are. And they want you to put out, um, yeah, with this 1111 message and numbers. They just want you to put out false stuff. They want you to put out a bunch of false stuff. They don't want you to research or see anything. They just want you to put out a bunch of false stuff. Now, I found it funny when I looked down and it was 1646 and this is 46, okay? That's 1010. And I usually say out with the old, in with the new. I'm going to say it a little differently this time. 
Um, I know when it comes to the number zero, it's just like something, it can actually stand for completion also because it's something that comes full circle. And like I said, they don't want you, they want you to re reverse it. And those ones can be a number of alert to pay attention. Oh yeah, look, and we have 1111 right now. So pay attention to what I'm saying, past life ac activation. I'm just hearing, um, I'm just hearing that's not much I could say. So a lot of you guys who are drawn to this car are intuitive and maybe you don't even know it. Um that you're intuitive. So they they want to play on that some. They want to play on that a little bit. You know, they want you to just be a fake seer. So a lot of you guys who are drawn here, maybe you do readings like me. Or maybe you're intuitive in some type of way. And they want you to put out all kinds of bad stuff. They want you to put out, um, like, uh, the wrong. I think a lot of you guys are readers some type of way. They want you to say, you know, um... They want you to to not know what you know certain synchronicities mean. Like the things that you're teaching people, they just don't. They want you to say the false stuff. They don't. Even, they don't want you to research anything. And some of you guys are probably maybe you, maybe you slack in that. I know one thing about me. Oh my gosh, I research everything. But you know maybe you slack in that. Maybe you kind of slack in researching certain stuff. And they want you to just put out anything. They don't want you to research anything, or they want you to just uh just just say stuff that's not there like they want you to be like this false prophet i know too many of those fake seers and then they try to when you go over to the dark side some kind of way if you ever went over to the dark side this will be you this will be your agenda i don't even know how they'll try to get you over there but that's definitely what your agenda would be they want you to be one of those false prophets that i a lot of those that people that i know where they can actually that's why i tell you guys to watch out about some of those people people on youtube if you don't feel like the person is legitimate get off their video i don't care who it is Get off the video. If it's something about them, that person might not resonate with you. Get off their video because gifts comes without repentance. What does that mean? Meaning anybody can have a gift, you know? Um, I saw on I saw on Facebook the other day and I was telling my friends, somebody was like, Yeah, we want you um was inviting people to um some type of program or something like that and I was looking at the speakers that was there and I was like yeah I'm familiar with all those speakers and I would never go because all of those people are fake so I would never go I wouldn't even play with my spirit like that I don't want that fake stuff in my spirit so when you see people on YouTube now this is the thing after I know people are evil oh yeah I got a video coming up about coming up about Ralph Smart and some of the stuff that I've been seeing about him once you start to see people who who for who they are that's when you leave them alone okay you leave them alone you don't go back to them there are a lot of people where I feel like I know that they're not up to any good but if I'm led to listen to something that they're saying I take the good and I leave the bad but do I go seeking after them no no I don't I never go seeking after anything like that okay so yeah they want you to be a fake seer you know like specifically seeing stuff and when you have to tell people stuff from your intuition even if it's not your job um but when i saw this past life activation card i'm gonna read and see more what it's saying actually i know what it's saying i just feel like this is another thing they're saying they want you to tell people fake stuff about you know uh fake kundalini awakenings fake synchronicities anything that can wake people up um fake you know uh signs and symbols fake ways to do spells and curses and and things like that you know they want you to to tell people good things prophesy good things or see good things in their life and they don't want you to tell people the truth like a lot of these people on youtube you know they don't want they don't want you to tell people the truth they want you to tell them all good things all the time no a good way of people need to be warned about bad things that happens too because we cannot stop bad things from happening in our lives they want you to be one of those people and if you're doing that then you know hey just you know switch it around but um yeah that's what i'm really getting anybody that's anytime you you speak to people intuitively they want you to give them the wrong information the thing is they want you to know what you're doing though they they're not just looking for people who are going to be like oops there was a mistake you know i said the wrong thing and this is this no they want you to actually know that what you're doing they want you to purposely do this because sometimes people are just too afraid to rock the boat so they don't they only tell them good things and they don't tell them the bad things too you know 
know. So, no, we're not going to do that, okay? We're not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, I do smell it. <laughs> I have pop. It smells amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm cooking, y'all. <laughs> I have paused it to listen to my baby. I thought she would finish talking, but she was still talking. And um, But I did get something when it came to this. And uh, past life activation, something about your past life, something, there's a karmic situation that you have to deal with. Something about in your past life that I think you guys were probably this way in a past life. And that's why you're here to spread light right now, okay? So, uh, don't continue that cycle. You reincarnated into this, uh, to being a light worker for a reason, okay? Okay, so yeah, y'all let me know how well that resonated with you guys. Um, I'm not saying that you're about to go to the dark side, but this is exactly what your agenda could be would be if the illuminati got their hands on you and like i said maybe just encourage you to um you know um go up some you know uh amp your game up and encourage you to stay on the path that you're on especially now that you see how special you are okay so you got to be special if they want this gift <laughs> that's all y'all continue to come and grow with me and subscribe so we can become a part of each other's tribe bye Okay, y'all, so those of you guys who were drawn to this amethyst, yeah, it's dark now. It went from daytime to nighttime, I know. <laughs> so, uh, here are your cards, the Time Master. Am I getting already the Spiral? Oh, that's my first time getting this card, and I see it all the time. It looks like a uh, Ammonazite. Am Ammonazite, however you say it to me when I see that card. It is so pretty to me. The Blade. Okay, it's a card that I get. Um, stay in your own skin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, call on your joy, guides. What is this saying? Spiritual decree. <sighs> they really want you guys. The, your agenda is the agenda that we have to have for you if you ever win evil. I don't think you guys will. Um. They really want you to start conjuring up a lot of evil stuff. They really want you to start working with the dark side and conjuring up a lot of evil stuff. They want you to take some spiritual things and make it evil, like I've been saying. But um, it seems like to me, to me, the spiritual thing that they want from you guys is things that uh, there's no wonder I was nowhere near drawn to this one <laughs> because um, I have yet to tap into this. Um, there are spiritual gifts that some people have, and some people do time travel and they uh they astral project and um astral project and uh they uh like I was talking about I stopped at telekinesis and things like that. Um and what they would do is totally make you um one of those type of people so this is a horrible agenda okay so with that being said y'all know do y'all know this uh this is okay when it comes to illuminati they have like um witches and warlocks um um who really can what i'm trying to say manipulate um people's minds and um Especially when it comes to cloning and the MK Ultra mind control, um, they would be like one of the, the higher ones. And I think you're very high in your spiritual walk. That's why you're here. Those of you who are drawn to the amethyst. And they would take that and make it very evil. So you would be like one of the high ones because you already know what you know. So if you know what you know, there's no reason, reason for you to be turning evil. Okay? So um, be careful what you're doing so you don't go over to the dark side. And they definitely will have you doing all kinds of stuff. Like I said, spiritual decree. Like just, um, not just that I'm looking at all of them. They really will have you doing some of those things. Like some of the things that they do, um, some of the small things they do. Like, uh, oh, can I explain this? I know exactly what I'm saying in my head. <laughs> but coming out through my mouth, okay. So, they have different little things. Uh, 
I hope my homeboys see this. Maybe you can come in and explain different little things besides taking people and making them bad for the community and all that stuff. They still have those people who start, you know how they say like Beyonce, be like, uh, you know how she taps into her Sasha, Sasha fears and you know, they was talking about that, that, um, that witch that she, she deals with. Some of them are like so powerful. They don't just sell out. They start to actually become one of them. Like they actually start to become like, you know, these high ranking demons, you know, um, like they say Oprah is, or, um, they start to actually become, uh, people who shape shift and you can do that in the pot and you can do that, you know, under a high frequency and, uh, people who can, who really, uh, are probably ugly and then they have spells and they make them beautiful. Like people say Beyonce is one of those people who are probably, you know, are a man and then they come to you in the form of a woman, you know, um, I'm not talking about transsexuals. I'm talking about people who do this and they, uh, just just to manipulate people they um probably um you know they you know people who can really jump from one spot to another like time travelers but not vibrating in a high frequency because i heard just people who have that gift i i've heard of people who can do that but they, you know, they want you to, to desire all these powers, but they want you to use them in a negative way, okay? Those of you guys who are not even scared of going into that field, but uh, that is definitely what their what they agenda would be for you. And it'll be for you to just, um, I'm just looking at all these cards and I'm saying exactly what I'm feeling based on all these cards. And they want to just literally suck every bit of happiness and joy out of you. Like, they want you evil, evil, you know. And I was thinking about that before making the video. How uh, there are people who turn evil because of life situations. And some people sometimes come out, um, out of that. And then there are people who turn evil and then they say evil. And they like it. And they want you in that. And they want you to enjoy it. Stay in your own skin. Yeah, like, you know, be yourself. Stay on your own path. Don't don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to, okay? <laughs> what TLC, TLC say? I know you rather have it your way or nothing at all, but I think you're moving too fast, okay? So, like I said, this will definitely be someone who's just not afraid of, of going there and you also have the net you already have the natural abilities to do those things and i mean i've never done any of those things not really not willingly <laughs> i'll say that but um sometimes i mean people who are like that i'm gonna keep it all the way honest with you guys because i think you can take it i've noticed people who are like that yeah you know, they'll just about try anything you know because they just kind of See, you know, the funny, you know, Gemini's do stuff like that. Like my son, he says stuff like that. And, oh, I, and then, um, I've been thinking about Gemini's lately. Wonder if I do like a separate video for them or not. Oh, I already put it out there. So I guess I'll probably do it. Um, because, uh, there are just some, um, very bad, um, accusations when it comes to Gemini's. I'm gonna keep it all the way, all the way with y'all. Gemini's do that. Gemini see wicked and evil stuff and they almost look at it like it's fun and some type of way they have it in them to want to go after this stuff the nature of a gemini is very sweet and it's very of light and light work you know it's like this this their nature to even be nice people to be good people but then they have that side of them where they see evil and they just want to do it you know you know bless their heart <laughs> And I feel like some of you guys probably kind of have those ways, even if you're not a Gemini. People who are not just afraid to astral project or people who are not afraid to time travel and really, really want to get into those high, high spiritual roles. You know, they're really not afraid of anything. So you do kind of have to be careful, okay, not to go over to the dark side because they will, they would definitely use you like a high ranking demon like they do like like Donald Trump or President Obama, and, you know, some of these people are, are, you know, aliens or, you know, not all aliens are bad, you know, and, you know, but they look like humans. Some of these people are, you know, uh, are the ones who, who assist in putting, 
putting these people on the MK Ultra Mind Control or or cloning these people. You know, they really want you to be one of the top agents. Agents, okay. They want you to be like like that, okay. They probably will take you and make you a president or something like that, make you a part of the government or something like that. But they definitely want you to be the main cause. And um, I'm going to. I'm pretty much finished with what I'm going to say. I'm going to see if Spirit wants me to give you a message as far as these two go. I'm gonna look in the book and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, there's not much I'm going to say, but once I read this definition, it confirmed everything that I was saying, okay? If y'all thought I was just talking crazy. And um, then I started thinking about the blade because I get the blade a lot. And the blade is really saying you have to watch when you get the blade. So you have to watch, like I said, the type of people that you guys probably are. You have to kind of watch it, okay? Because that means you're, that you will have like a blade personality, you know? If you're not watching what you're doing, you can cut somebody, you know? Uh, you can use it to fight and then you can also use your your abilities to cut somebody so watch out okay <laughs> if you have those abilities so um but i'm gonna just read y'all what the spiral said okay okay so uh one part it says the spiral is a guide for entering deep into one's consciousness and the unknown and then hey look at my video into the unknown okay and the extended far out into the heavens is crucial to surrender to this journey until the exhausted paradigm devolves in the depths of the psyche and its energy is released to give birth to a new reality. Okay, so like I was saying, you know, um, be careful, like I've been saying with the type of person, the type of personality you are, you know, because you it seems like uh, when you want to go towards certain levels spiritually be careful with the with the direction that you're choosing it will be dangerous for you to take um it'll be dangerous for you to go into a certain direction especially when it's not time for you to excel to that level okay um and then i like where it says the spiral announces a decent i'm back reading at the book again y'all the spiral announces a analysis a descent to the depths in a rebirth allow nothing to get in the way of this process as the time is right and the forces of nature are supporting you in this in endeavor i thought something else was saying yeah using stones okay Supporting you in this endeavor, using stones, twigs, or yarn, build a spiral on the ground that is large enough to walk through with at least three turns. Enter the spiral slowly. Okay, I stop there, okay, because it's kind of telling you like a ritual to do or something like that. But um, what I got from that, when it says, because after that, it just says that once you enter the spiral, it tells you what to do. It's telling you to let certain stuff go and to see the direction that you're supposed to go in and things like that. But it's like saying, like I say, if you go too fast, and that's why it gives you the direction to enter in slowly, okay? I can't read the whole book, so that's when it, when it gives you the direction to actually enter something slowly because you're not supposed to enter the spiral when you're not ready because then you will spiral out of control okay so yeah y'all let me know your story let me know if you resonate with this at all i'm not saying you guys are going over to the dark side but i'm saying this will be your agenda a very powerful one uh but you're already powerful people so um yeah stay in your own skin okay so, but yeah, let me know if this resonates with you guys at all. I always like to hear you guys' story because I really just want to see, like, are these people really going through this stuff for real? Especially when stuff is, like, wow with me. But, yeah, y'all, that's all. Continue to come and grow with me and subscribe so we can become a part of each other's tribe. Bye.